Welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and Designs. Of course, I'm Raina Mo, and I wanted to thank you for watching this particular tutorial. Today, I'm going to be focusing on multiple projects. Uh, my Z Gallery series, I want to go ahead and get that done and, and completed. So, the next project that I'm going to be doing is one of the Z Gallery inspired items that I saw, and it is a beautiful hourglass that is gold. They also have it in silver, but it's $29.95. And I said, you know, I know that I can make that because I've seen little uh, LED lights that are shaped like a diamond at the Dollar Tree. So that was my initial idea to use products from the Dollar Tree. But when I went to the Dollar Tree and I found the DIY, the, uh, the LED lights that are diamond shaped, they were all frosted. None of them were clear. So I said, well, maybe that's not a design that I would be able to do because there's no way you can take plastic that is uh, formulated with a yellow milky um, tone to it and make it clear. So I said, well, that's not going to work. And then lo and behold, at Hobby Lobby, I actually found a glass hourglass. And it was $17.99 there with, and it was on sale for 50% off. So... I am I am able to get this for like seven fifty eight bucks. So that is a huge savings of thirty dollars, basically. Excuse me, twenty dollars, basically, because online at Z Gallery it is uh, twenty nine ninety nine. So basically, I'll make this for less than ten bucks, and I would have had to pay thirty to to purchase the one that's on Z Gallery. Also, I have a couple of uh, other projects from Z Gallery that are inspired that I'll be doing. Uh, and I'm going to do them back to back, so don't be surprised if you see me in the same outfit. But I wanted to go ahead and get into this tutorial. I also wanted to let you all know, for those of you that are my subscribers, I really, really appreciate all of the feedback and comments that you share with me. And... Um, trusting me with some very important dates for you guys. I have a new subscriber who's having a peacock wedding and I will be doing some um, centerpiece ideas and I'll also show how to create different types of bouquets and arrangements because I've had a couple of uh, subscribers ask me about that. Um, I also hear lately I've had a bunch of subscribers asking, you know, where do I get my supplies and such. So if you'll ever look down in the description box, you'll notice that I started putting links in there. And so it's to help anybody who wants to recreate or use something in a project that they have uh, been thinking about and they want to use like maybe one thing that I used on a creation. So I put the links down below so that you can um, go ahead and go online and pick these things up. Uh, and also some of them you can actually go into the stores like Home Depot or Lowe's or Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. Uh, but if you decide you want to order anything online, then I'll have some links down below to the supply so that you can go ahead and do that. Now some of them will be affiliate links, but not all of them. Um, but anyway, um, let's get started on this particular tutorial. So what I'm going to actually do, it, I want it to be gold. The one that I saw at Z Galleries, I mean, it was just, it was really pretty. Um, and I just couldn't see spending $30 on an hourglass uh, or even more because I've actually seen them uh, in other places that are more expensive. And I'm like, well... Years ago, you could go anywhere and get an hourglass, uh, or they some people call them an egg timer, but they had large ones. You could get them anywhere at a very reasonable price, but nowadays, seems like things that used to cost minimally have now been um, upcycled or renamed something new, and they're charging us through the nose for it, and that's to me, that's just not right, so... I found, I'm glad that I did find this uh, when I wasn't looking for it, but I'm glad that I did find it. So I'm just going to take the painter's tape and go along the edges. And I'm going to go along all of the edges. And then when we come back, I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is. And you'll notice that I've left the, ta the tape unstuck 
along the sloped edges and that's because it seems to pull the tape off of the, the sharp edge that I need which is along here to be my guide to make sure that I don't over paint or get overzealous. So what I have here is some folk art metallic paint and it came in so many different colors. Uh, I've purchased this a while back for another uh, project that I had in all the different shades of gold and silvers that they had. So this one is Inca gold, this one is Sahara gold, and this one is pearl white. So what I'm going to do is just mix them because I don't want it to be too yellow and I definitely don't want it to be dull and, and, and brassy. So the pearl is going to help um, boost that up. But I'm just going to put some into a paper plate. That's a beautiful gold. And this one is just so yellow. But I noticed that the gold that is in... Um, on Z Gallery it's a very yellow gold as well so to just kinda help everything blend together I'm gonna put a little bit of a pearlescent white I'm gonna mix this up really well and just paint so now I have the golds mixed along with the pearl white and I'm just gonna paint so just brush this on and then after that we just let it dry and if it needs another coat, then we'll do another coat. So now that the paint has dried, we're going to go ahead and remove the tape. Now I see I did get a couple of drips, but I'm going to take an alcohol swab to that and fix that but just look at what we created y'all I think that's pretty close to a dupe so what I'm gonna do is take an alcohol swab and go around and clean up the edges and when we come back I'll show you the final result look a beautiful functional hourglass that is gold you could make this in silver as well cost you less than 10 bucks as opposed to the Z gallery $29.95 well if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up Click your notification bell so you'll be aware of the next time I do a project. Uh, and as you see, you know, I'll be wearing kind of the same thing because I'm going to be doing several projects back to back. I'll just be uploading them on different days. Um, and I'm going to continue to try and have two to three tutorials done a week. I want to get onto a schedule this year in 2017. That's one of my goals. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do a Tuesday, Thursday schedule or if I'm going to do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Um, or if it's going to be a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. But nonetheless, keep a lookout. If you put your notifications on, you won't have to worry about missing any other tutorials. And on that note, have a wonderful evening. Bye.